Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. gave a speech on October 22, 2023 at a meeting of the San Diego Cherokee community. I do want to touch on one more matter in health care that's very near and dear to my heart, and I think it's near and dear to everyone's heart, and that is the issue of drug addiction and then more broadly mental health among the Cherokee people. This is true among everyone in the country. It's a big problem. We have to be honest at the Cherokee Nation about this subject. If there's an area that we are falling short in, it is behavioral health. We've got wonderful men and women working in our system. We need more of them. And we do too much of this, which is we contract out something that is very serious, which is caring for people that are dealing with addiction. We're changing that. And I updated you last year on this, but I want to give you a bit further update. We took the opioid industry to court and we extracted $100 million out of them and we're turning all of that into healing for the Cherokee people. So we're building drug treatment centers. We're starting in Tahlequah, a drug treatment center for Cherokees, by Cherokees, and particularly on this subject, there is something needed, there is something special, there's something powerful about Cherokees taking care of Cherokees in the area of substance abuse. We've got innovative programs. We've got a harm reduction program that actually goes out and finds some of our people who are addicted right now, and they're not ready to, for recovery, but what they need is their brothers and sisters to wrap their arms around them and say, we're here for you. The stigma needs to be pulled away. You're suffering, and that means we're suffering. That's the attitude that we have. And I think that's going to bring a great deal of healing back home. And we need that all over the country. I think we can lead this country on mental health, addressing that issue. And I think we can lead the country on addressing addiction. But we can't do all of that if we don't do this, which is to make sure the generation coming up of young people want to be the doctors and nurses and drug counselors of tomorrow. How do we do that? It's challenging. Here's what we've done, and the council, your council members sponsored this legislation. We put five million dollars of that opioid settlement money into an endowment so that into perpetuity we will have scholarships if the young people of the Cherokee Nation will go to college and become the doctors, nurses, and drug counselors of tomorrow. We'll pay their way. They just have to come back home and work for their people. And that includes young people out here. That includes young people that might be in this room today. They could be saving our lives tomorrow. That, I think, is key to making some progress on this issue. 